almost heaven West Virginia Blue Ridge Mountain Shenandoah River Life is older Older than the trees Younger than the mountains Growing like a breeze Country road Take me home To the place I belong West Virginia Mountain mama Take me home Country road Today we're headed to Fayetteville, West Virginia, once voted the coolest small town in America, and there's no better way that we like to start our day than the homemade way with some Tudor's Biscuit World. On the way to Fayetteville, there are plenty of sites along the way, like the Whipple Company Store in Whipple, West Virginia. Once a company store for coal miners, it was built around 1900 and closed as a company store in 1957 when the New River Company mine closed. It was later used as a museum and a gift shop. Today there are some historical plaques detailing the history of the area. First up is the Long Point Trail. Parking at this trail is very limited and there is a small restroom at the trailhead. It's one of the most popular trails at the gorge and depending on the time of year it can be very crowded for outdoor trails. Today we'll be checking out a very popular trail here at the 63rd National Park which is New River Gorge National Park and Preserve and we're checking out the Long Point Trail. It's an out and back 1.6 miles so it ends with a great view. It's a pretty easy trail till the end. The beginning of the trail has been upgraded over the years and has a nice gravel path. As the trail moves deeper into the woods and closer to the gorge itself, you begin to descend. The path then goes from crushed gravel to dirt, or in our case today, leaf covered. If you're into learning a little bit about nature around you, there are plenty of signs worth checking out. This one details how the once dominant American chestnuts have died out in the area. The stump beside of it stands as an example of what once was. Another example examines the beautiful state flower, the rhododendron. The state flower is very prevalent at the gorge and along the river itself in general. Explorers once called these thickets rhododendron hell. It's November and today it was not crowded at all as the leaves have already changed colors. The trail is graded as moderate, mostly because of the last third of the trail. The trail is designed for hiking and biking, although the last quarter mile you'll have to park your bike. One of the nice things about Long Point Trail is there's a couple places along the trail, especially toward the end, where you have a nice little uh, view right like this right here it's a little bit less crowded but it's definitely worth a stop to take it in when you get to the end of the trail you'll understand how the trail got its name in the distance you can see the famous New River Gorge Bridge and if you're brave enough to look down you'll even see the New River itself I've been on this trail during each season of the year and the view is always spectacular Many people reach this point of the trail and have a seat on a very large rock to take the views in, take some pictures, and even grab a bite to eat. Whatever you decide to do when you reach this point, you'll be glad that you made the journey. While in the area, it's worth checking out the Canyon Rim Visitor Center. While in the Visitor Center, you can check out some exhibits highlighting the rich history of the area, including the railroads, coal mines, and timbering that took place here. There's also plenty of views that you can see of the bridge from the Visitor Center and information detailing the construction of it in the 1970s. Before leaving, check out the store for everything from stickers and patches to water bottles and t-shirts. At this point, if you don't have a lot of extra time, you can walk to the observation deck of the bridge before leaving. After leaving the visitor center, we are headed to a nearby trail called Endless Wall. Named for the amazing views along the trail of the Gorge Cliffs, this trail is just north of the Canyon Rim Visitor Center. All right, so we had a little bit of extra time. We couldn't decide if we wanted to do another trail or not. We decided though, we gotta check out Endless Wall Trail. It's got great views, it's got some access to some of the best rock climbing east of the Mississippi River. It's 2.4 miles from trailhead to the other trailhead, or you can make a loop out of it if you want to walk back along the road. A lot of people choose to do that. Either way, you're going to see some awesome views along the way. Let's check it out. Today I'll be starting at the trailhead at the lower end of the trail. This is a very popular trail and depending on the time of the year, you may have to park alongside the road. The trail begins by ascending toward the cliffs. You'll cross Fern Creek along the way. Here on Endless Wall Trail, it's very well taken care of. They have lots of signs around that tell you to stay on the trail. That way you don't disturb things that they want to protect. Uh, there's this awesome creek uh, that you see along the trail. Lots of big rocks. And they've done a really good job of adding in things like this bridge and some nice stairs, but also keeping with the habitat itself, there's lots of rocks and things that are also your steps along the trail. While climbing toward the cliffs, there are plenty of chances to observe unique plant and wildlife in the area. 
Once you reach the part of the trail that's near the cliff's edge, you'll see great views all around. You'll see the New River nearly 1,000 feet below. Sometimes you can see and even hear the whitewater rafters coming down the rapids. So the best part of Endless Wall Trail is that once you get up on top, this is the view you have. Um, and there's so many places where you can step off the trail and uh, take in the sights, the New Rivers down below, which is what this uh, national park is named for. And that's what it follows as well. And it's definitely worth checking out the next time you're in the area. Many people choose to hike to the popular vista called Diamond Point. At this point, some of the people who travel turn around creating a nice two mile out and back hike. The view from Diamond Point lives up to its name. From left to right, you can see for miles and miles. This unobstructed view is breathtaking. This trail is also a very popular area for rock climbers. In fact, the park has over 1600 climbing routes, so be on the lookout for these climbers as you're hiking. Today, we were able to watch several climbers in the area enjoy these world-renowned cliffs. It's very simple. If you like views, this trail delivers and should be on your list of places to visit. After a day of hiking, there's no better place to stop right here in Fayetteville than right here at the original Highs and Heights. There's over a dozen locations now. But this... Known for their delicious pizzas, this locale is a favorite of locals, rafters, and those traveling through. They have plenty of TVs to watch your favorite sports and even a pool table if you're wanting to hang out for a bit. Today I'll be getting the Chipotle chicken pizza. So we ordered our pizza. This right here is a Chipotle chicken. It's super tasty. Pies and pints is where it's at. If you'd like more information to help you plan your trip to the New River Gorge National Park and Preserve, you can go to mps.gov website or you can check out wvtourism.com. Thanks for watching and keep exploring.